Hey, I'm Kev Kerr, Mr. Come, welcome back to MotoGP 18, where Mario had a very good start with his new team last out in Aragon. Can he continue it in Thailand? So here goes Mario then for the first two possible qualifying efforts. He's got a Peter Petrucci's 31 9. He's doing it late in the session. In the UK, much more speed out of that corner as he just meets the Mark VDS out as what's this other rider doing? Don't be going onto the racing line. Especially when we're breaking for a corner. Good job of Vince, yeah. Now in front. He's gone red so far. Has this circuit is a bit like the Satsang, a bit strange. Gonna fast and flow in in the first spot, as you can see. Or just fast. And then tighten Trist in the next. In this middle sector. You're just holding on to the bike. Making sure you then all the apexes. It's been a very modern circuit. If you're offline a bit, it's not going to go well. Am I doing that? Has he got oceans of tarmac going off everywhere too? Let's head towards the final corner. It was almost unnecessarily tight as nailed it. As Mario comfy head of Petrucci, I did turn it up to 110%, so that might have not been enough <laughs> hitting it because I care. So you got Espargo on the fifth row alongside Pedroza and Baptista. Then we've got Robert, Morbidelli and Sirwin. And Bradley Smith, Thomas Tutti and Scott Redding. With Caleb, um, Simeon and Alicia Spargo, second to last, ahead of Nakagami, the teammate. Almost five seconds back of Mario. Will everyone be like that in qualifying two? As Mario's doing the opposite of what he did in qualifying one and qualifying two, going out immediately for two possible qualifying efforts. He's only used one lap in qualifying one and that is not how you start the lap. He's taken to pit lane in the side to get a good exit towards the hairpin. Probably the primary overtaking spot in this circuit. Looks like Mayo's braked a bit early again into that. So we've got to watch out for that in the race if he gets dived down the inside there or even the outside into that corner. Because then in this middle set is a bit more difficult to overtake. Oh, we could see that left hander being overtaken place. But in this left, I'm right, and this left maybe some side by side. This right could set up a move into the fine, right? And then it's mainly just the final corner after this. Let's get it all the way down to first. It's not been a good lap so far. So I'm going to be close at 30 point for that. He does get on the power nice and smooth though. And towards the final corner. You know, all the way down to first. Of course there's nowhere near 30.5. It's even quicker, 29.2. Oh, for God's sake. Unfortunately, this will happen when we're forced to take a lower difficulty because you can't battle your opponents. So we're 1.3 ahead of Dovi and Marquez. Then we've got the Yamaha twins, Rossi and Vinales, alongside the Suzuki of Iannone. Then it's Sarko, Lorenzo and Jack Miller. Head of Crotchlow, Rins and Petrucci down in 12th. Let's see if the race will be anywhere near competitive. So here's Mario moving up from pole. He's first on the LCR as he waits for the lights to go out. For a long race in nine laps. He's got a poor start. Rossi down and said, look at Lorenzo fly. There's Mario around the outside of everyone. Up into third as you've got Dovi, Marquez. McDonald, and here comes the Suzuki. Is that Ian Oni? This man tries to dive down the inside of Marquez. Marquez turns into him. Mayo goes a bit wide into him as well as Nakagami back for the last with Espargo, his teammates battling for the lead with Dovi. 
as all Vinod is not with a good start down tonight back in with Iononi or Rin shall we say one of the Suzuki's it's made all over the tail of Dovi as all Vinod is on the combat trail past Lorenzo as all Rossi with the dive it's Mayo has gone right and that's allowed Marcus to sneak by as well now Mayo gets him back on the inside let's go for the right it's all Marcus wide again into Mayo oh but he's got the run and everyone heading towards the final corner he breaks very early oh Rossi forcing his way by Former mentor. Yes, former. After leaving Premat. And chucked out the ranch. Rossi not very happy about it, and it's like his moves on that first lap. As Mayo takes back. Second. As look at Lorenzo down in 13 battery wins after that superb start where he's third. Into the first corner. Well Vinard is making moves up to Sip now past Crutch shows. Here comes Marcus down the inside of Mayo. So Mayo just about holds on as Pedros and Renzo are battling over 30. They're not used to that, are they? Motor GP veterans, multiple race winners, multiple titles for Renzo at this level as well. So Mayo a bit wide. As Dobby got almost a second lead. Doing an outstanding job. The championship leader, the champion elect as well. It's up to this guy and Vinales and Marcus to try and stop him winning it, but he's very comfortable with just catch him out at the moment. Let's go towards the final corner. Oh, Dory with a bit of a mistake. Sounds made a dive down the inside, it does it. Dovey round the outside, somehow he holds on, he's gone wide in the final corner. Just about leads across the line. The spark ahead of Ian Oni. Well, the Suzuki's really falling back. None of them in the top 10. That's how Vinales up to fourth. What a start from Vinales. Well, recovery after a poor start. Back to be in the top 10 on the opening lap. Now he's back to be on the podium. Saw Dobby down the inside of McDonald. Mayo got the launch off the corner as you've got Miller and Sarko battling hard. Simeon, more with a battling over 20. Mayo diving, bit deep. So now Dobby to dive back by. And Mayo down the inside through the left. And through the right. There's Oz. Got a tech three in the points head of Rabat. From Malaysia, it's all Dobby takes a little look. Doesn't quite work out as once again, Mayo, very wide. Once again, Dobby lurking. He's about now batting for 16th with the Aprias. Oh, back into the points as well. So Mayo through the final corner, very gentle on the brakes there. He's at a 29-5, virtually matching his qualifying pace. We've got Rossi battling with Vinales and Marcus for third. Then Crutcho, Miller, Zarco, Lorenzo and Petrucci as well. He's taking his favourite line in the first corner. He's got Paul Spargo, 4-13, battling with Alvaro Baptista, the two Spaniards. No, Scott Redding maybe not getting a point for a pre -year. He goes Mayo all over the curb. He was rumoured for a Reading seat as well, Mayo. All the switching to LCR, but there's only rumours. As I said no manufacturer's really interested in Mayo. And that's why he's at this customer seat again. With LCR. But it's working out well. Changing for the win in Aragon, leading here. Got a pole here as well. Looking out very well for the former Ducati man. 
as he's 1.2 ahead of X Factory mate Dovey. And he's just pulling away as Lorenzo battling under his Arco. And Mira over seventh. It's the teammates of a Mark Videos battle over 21st. There's Mo with a 28 5. Well, he's definitely turned up with his racing boots. As we choose you up to 10th ahead of Rins a little bit temporarily, though he might have dived into the final corner, the, pre the Premat Rider. Now a bit deep into the first corner, or second corner. It's like ahead of Mena as Nakagami battling for 19th now. He's on the charge for some points. It's first of the season. So it's so difficult that left-handed get right. You've got to turn in so early for that corner. It's like a couple of corners round there which are just deceiving. Let's think, oh, I can maybe turn in a bit later, and it's like it's late apex. No, it's an early apex. You've got to get the bike in early. Especially if you want to carry the speed safe with that right hander in second gear, and for that previous left hander in third. No, very patient on the throttle there. Yeah, have to be. And breaking very early for the final corner. Still see me on the neck and going back in hard. He's on to lap six. 2.5 second lead over the Vizioso. There's Morbidelli now up into 20th. So a good battle going on down the order. Just to be in the top 20, just to be in the top 10 as well. It's Ian only down in 21st. What has happened to the Suzuki rider this race? Gone all Pete Tong for him as Patrici now have a teammate Miller who's dropping back again in a second half of a race. Sleety up to 22nd. There you go, that's much better turning. Carried some speed for the corner as well. It's the Brits battle over 17th, Smith and Redding. Mario for this final or middle sequence of corners. Such a tricky beast, this technical part of the lap. Very short lap though. But you could imagine a Formula car around a single seat like an Indy car, an F1 car. Lapping around 120, 115 maybe around there. Maybe 125 actually for an IndyCar, 120 for an F1 car. As you got to remember, these bikes are incredibly quick in a straight run, just as quick as an F1 car, almost. Like 220 miles per hour it can be up to. So the Circuit of the Americas. Down that long back straight, it's absolutely incredible. But they are very light as well as Dobby's dropping back. Then I was up to second head of Vizioso. He's then only up to 70th head of Reddit. What a jump from the Suzuki rider. He's making mincemeat of the whole order. That's Mario with a comfortable four second lead, but not comfortable behind for Dobby. His championship lead might be cut a bit. But not gonna have two races in the bag. Be one and a bit. Especially if he's off the podium. We go nice and smooth. Into the final corner. Back into the 28s as well, heading on to the penultimate lap of the race. Just been comfortable on that 29-0 pace. 
Like really comfortable. Whereas Ian only up to 16 of his. Oh, the Tech 3's missing out the points again, it looks like. For the Malaysian. Mario wants to push the bike a bit in it, so like in these final stages, Tyra is incredibly kind. Boy feels as fresh as a daisy still. He's trying pushing it a bit in these final stages. So they need almost five seconds now behind. Seen only into the points, then up into 15th. It's a bit deadly. It's obvious the same one there, not scoring points this season, are they? Keep battling down the order just to be in the top 20. So now we're back, back up to six. Have you just raced on battle with the Tech 3? When he's in here. No, the poor 29 2. Slacking. Not put on some of that. Has he got Vinales, Dovi, and Rossi all together? Marcus a bit back in fifth. Be interesting to see who shakes out on top in that Yamaha Ducati battle behind. At the moment, it is the young Spaniard ahead of the Italian veterans. It's on this final lap, his first victory on an LCR. And for Horden de Haas, Lorenzo up to sit for Edo Crutcho. Mario's teammate. Now they might be entered as two separate entities. The team's championship. They definitely are both riding for LCR. There's, oh, Mario almost getting a two. Too aggressive there. Made the rear tyres worn slightly, just, you know, ever so slightly. But they don't need to push it for these final couple corners. The car will be rising on their feet in the main grandstand. As they see another team win. But a familiar face on the top step. As Mayo. Grabs the victory in Thailand and the championship fight is back on, maybe. As he wins comfortably. Maybe it did need to be extreme. As he wins by over five seconds ahead of Vindales with Dobby in third, Rossi and Marquez round out the top five ahead of Crutcher winning that battle ahead of Lorenzo by a second in the end. Then Sarko Petrucci winning his race on battle with teammate Mena by just a tenth of a second in the end. And then we've got Rins. Pedroza, Baptista, Paul Spargo, and Andrea Ianni grabbing the final point for Suzuki, who had a terrible race down in 11th and 15th. But for Bat and Surin just missing out. Redding, Smith, Nakagami grabbing a top 20 out of Luti, Morbidelli, Alicia Spargo, Semyon, and Kelly Abram in last. So in the championship, it is now just under two races. Race wins the distance. It is 46 points between Dovi and McDonough. It's still a handsome lead for the Ducati rider. As the Honda rider is now 9 points ahead of the Yamaha of Vinales. Then we've got Marcus in 4th. Dropping back a bit now. Almost a race win behind Vinales. Then we've got Rossi in 5th. Ahead of Zarco, Lorenzo, Petrucci wins. Crutcho into the top 10 ahead of Ian Oni with a good result. And it looks like it's still just 18 riders have scored points so far this season. As in the contractor stand in Shikati, 59 points ahead of Yamaha, you're 25 ahead of Honda now. And then we've got Suzuki, KTM and Apriya. Well, the team's championship, it is Shikati who lead now ahead of Yamaha with Premek after the departure of Mayo. Their workhorse, they have dropped down to third now. Maybe good for Shikati, maybe to see the factory team finally ahead of the satellite team. And then we've got Honda in fourth ahead of Suzuki, Tech 3 in sixth, in LCR, Honda 7th, ahead of other LCR Honda up into eighth ahead of the factory KTM effort and the Anger Nieto team with just Mark VDS yet to score. As oh yes, maximum level every. He's the first rider as well. Mario he's just slotted in like a glove and bringing lots of developments to the team as well.
as well. Mario won in MotoGP. Alex Marquez became the Moto2 champion. Well, in Moto3, Martin Ibizeki and Bastianini, sure, he's going to become the Moto3 champion very soon. So in Bite the Verb, and what do we the Verb? Is it, is it going to be the brakes again? Might as well just be the brakes. Just keep improving those. And can we develop? No, we can't develop aggression. So there we go. That's what a start on board the Honda and the LCR. Next time up, it'll be the home race around the Trim Romo Tegi in Japan. Kamaya bring more success, more champagne to the table for the team. Sound watching, we'll find out next time. I'll see you then.